everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel so as always today i am going to be reorganizing again because i'm sick of my shelves um i don't know why i just it's not working for me i don't like the way they look so what i'm going to do is down here in these drawers i have my tears beauty um like rest of the collection that don't fit on the wall so i think i'm going to put these on the wall and then i'm going to put all the other tears beauty stuff down here in these drawers so i need to take all of these out I'm just popping them in a in something i can hold them in at the moment and i'm going to put these on the wall instead and then have everything else of tears in the drawer because as much as i love having all the tears beauty products on the wall because they are beautiful because they do look really cute because i absolutely love them but i don't like this row here because they're different heights it's really bothering me and i don't like these ones here because you can't see them because they're so small um you can't really see what they are so instead of having them like that i'm going to take all these off and all these i'm probably going to move those to the bottom and then move these up um i'm not sure whether i'm going to have two rows or just one i'm not sure how many fit and how many have you even got? So down here I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Okay, that's way too many. Uh, they all fit. I'm just I was hoping to have like one row on each, but I'm not going to be able to do that. But it's all good. So basically I'm going to take everything off the wall. Everything. I'm just going to take it all off. And then we'll start from there, I think. Okay, so this is what we are working with. I sort of wish that I put the Tears Beauty stuff in tubs. So I might do that because obviously I've got to carry those over to the, uh, what's it called? I've gone totally blank. Don't know what I'm talking about. The drawers. <laughs> so I've got to take them over there. So I'm going to pull up a chair and I'm going to put everything in here. So I've got glitters. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is still a little, playing up just a little bit. It's not even nearly as bad as it was. I don't sound quite as croaky anymore, but it's still not 100%. So you have to just, oh, excuse that. So I'm just, I think my plan is, obviously, I know that I want all of these things in a drawer. Well, I say I want them in a drawer. I don't. I really like having all this on show because, like I said, Tia's beauty packaging is beautiful and I love my clients being able to see it all, but it's just not... I don't know. It's not... I'm not thinking it's, like, it's not looking as good as it, it could look at the moment, if that makes any sense. Um, I just... I think because I've got so many, like, little tiny parts it's they just don't go well on the shelf so i think that it'd look more magical like opening up a like a drawer and you've been able to see everything that way i think because i really love how my sparkle supplies drawer looks um that is just i really really love the glitter drawer that i've got for them so i'm just thinking that maybe it would be best to have the tears stuff the same sort of way oh my gosh i'm throwing things all over the place <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that it would be best to have the tear stuff the same way. Um, I just, one day you're going to just watch one of my organisation videos and be like, why? Why are you organising <laughs> again? Why are you doing it? And you know what? I won't have an answer for you because I don't know why I keep doing it. I just, I keep thinking of new ways to put things and then it makes the way that I thought of last time not look as good. And then I'm like, well, now I need to change <laughs> But as we all know, I do enjoy organising anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much because at least I'm enjoying it. Oh, they fit that way around. That's cute. You can fit loads of the Tears Beauty stuff in these containers. Look, this is brilliant. I mean, I'm not leaving them in here. This is literally just for me to transport them to the drawer because I'm lazy. And I don't have a crazy amount of time to get this done because... It is a weekday, it's a Monday to be specific, and I have got clients in today, so I'm just at the moment waiting for my next client. She's not due in like too soon, what time is it? 
so it's 20 to 12 and she's not in till one i didn't have anyone in this morning because i went to have my hair extensions taken out um because i have tapes and obviously as they grow down your head you need to get them moved back up so they've been took out this morning and then i will go back tomorrow morning uh to have them might be tomorrow afternoon actually but either way i'll go back tomorrow to have them put back in so that is why i've not had one in this morning i always book off like way too much time to have my hair taken out like it's literally like a half an hour job if that and i book off like the whole morning appointment <laughs> but it's fine it just means i have more time to get some filming done because i have been struggling lately to find the time to actually film something so this is good i'm glad that i've got this time so i'm just going to pop these on top i don't want to fill up loads of the trays if i can help it there we go so i'm not sure whether to do the tears like draw first and then sort out the wall but then i suppose if i do run out of time at least if the wall's done it will look presentable for my client that's coming at one o'clock so i'm gonna take Hmm, I'm not sure. Am I going to be able to see those? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm going to pop these up here and see, like, how they look. I think I'm still going to keep it. Like, I'm really sorry, I just realised I'm not even showing you what I'm doing, but I think I'm still going to keep it to sort of like coloured powders separate to pre mixed glitters. That looks like a glitter, though. That is a glitter. Oh, do you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. This is the problem with having things on the wall is that I feel the need for it to be in colour coordination when actually in, in drawers. I don't really do that. So I might have... That clearly doesn't go there, does it? I might have the... Uh, pretty much glitters with... What do you think? Oh gosh, would you have premix glitters with them or without? I'm not sure. Um, so down here we've got, let's get some light over here. I'm just going to pop them all so I can see them. And then hopefully as I go along, what's that? Oh, that's over there. So there's black in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Found it. That's the black. So I need to move them over now to get this in the main problem i've got is when i use them if i use multiples i don't put them back where they came from like especially if it's like two shades of blue or something i really need to think of a way of like doing these types of videos without holding my phone because i feel like i'm shaking all over the place and i've got a dead arm already and i've already just started because i've got my arm in the air um i need to try and think of a way to do this but for now we're just gonna have a dead arm it's fine we'll get through it so i think i'm gonna put that clearly doesn't go there this is what annoys me about color coordination because in reality obviously uh what are they called acrylics look very different when they're actually like mixed with monomer so they might look lighter in the pot but then when you actually put them with monomer they're quite dark so they wouldn't actually go in that order but there we go so i'm gonna uh, I'm going to put these up so I'm going to do the top two shelves and see where we're at and see how many we've got left of what we need to do so obviously I'm transferring these up there but adding the ones that are over here if they go with them at the same time um, and then we can come back and we'll do this draw together because this one is a nightmare I can't have my arm in the air all day because I'll be uh, I'll be struggling when my client comes because my arm will be dead so I'm going to get on with the shelves and then I'll show you as I make progress <sighs> and breathe <laughs> so <clears throat> sorry about that lost my voice completely so we're back now it is now 10 past 12 i don't know what time it was when i told you what the time was earlier but i feel like i've been doing this for ages i did have to in the end change it twice so i did it all over i did it once and then realized that it wasn't going to work and i had to do it all over again so this is what we've ended up with but i really really love it i think it looks absolutely beautiful so yeah i'm not really keen on the gels being on there as well because obviously it's all gold lids um, but my gel perfection shelves are full so I can't fit any more on them so it's just going to be one of those things and I do actually have one powder just the one 
that I can't fit on the wall um, without messing it up. So yeah, that's a bit annoying, but it's fine. I can cope with that. I'm just gonna pop it in the drawer with the other Tears Beauty stuff. So we're now gonna move on to the drawer. Let me just take everything over to it and then I will sit with you at the drawer and we'll sort out where I'm gonna put everything in there. I don't have a great deal of space down here at the moment because just here on a table I've got oh, a little air conditioning unit because it's absolutely roasting in the UK at the moment which is not something that I say very often but when I do it makes me sad because <laughs> I am one of those typical British people that when it's hot I'm too hot and when it's cold I'm too cold so you know it's one of those so I'm gonna pop oh, let me move back a little bit I'm gonna pop all of the glitters down here, I think. Now this is one of those things where it's gonna be a nightmare because I'm gonna do what I did with the wall. I'm gonna place things so many times and then change my mind. And yeah, it's one of those things, but I just wanted you to see how realistic this process is. Like I know I make my organization videos look really super simple, but that is because I cut out all of the boring parts when I'm literally just stood or sat staring at what i'm doing <laughs> wondering what way to do things so yeah that's why it looks much better on a video than it does for me actually doing it it's because i am a nightmare basically so yeah so i'm just going to pop all of these i'm hoping that these will feel like this bit here um just because it's going to really stress me out if i have some long bits and then some shorter ones so we'll see but i'm hoping that's how it'll go um i do need to set you up and put you somewhere because i can't hold you while i'm doing this so i'm going to do that and then we can get into it okay i think this is going to be the best angle so excuse the fact that there's shadows because i've opened my top drawer and then like rescue you on the top which is why there's a shadow now but i'm afraid that's just what we're going to have to work with for this video to work so i'm just going to pop like i said all these ones down the front bit So I wonder, oh, they're a little bit slightly longer, that's annoying. Anyway, so I'm now going to go in with everything else. So I'm going to put chromes next. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not, this is probably not how I'm going to keep them. Um, mainly just because obviously you've seen my Sparkles of Lies drawer. The only problem with it is it is difficult to get things out because they're so close together. Um, this is obviously going to be pretty difficult, but it's almost like I can cope with the fact that it's not 100% practical just because it looks so nice. So if you're wondering how I actually pick things up when they're all in like this, it's with great difficulty, but it's fine. This is one of the reasons why I like my clients to send me pictures of stuff that they want before they come, um, because then I can fight with this sort of thing before they get here. <laughs> So when they're here, I'm not literally stood here for 10 minutes just trying to pick up a little part. Like, it's all good because I've got it out ready. So anyway, so there are all the chromes um, along here. I've just popped those in. Uh, these, what's that? That's a chrome chrome. So these ones along here are the coloured chromes. And then these five on the end are the Aurora chromes. I used these in a video not that long ago. They are absolutely beautiful. And then next to the Aurora chromes, I'm just going to pop the flake perfect and then next up i'm gonna pop the dusts in holographic dusts i absolutely love these i haven't used them for a while to be honest i do have one client who has them like every single time she has her nails done she has a different one every time and you know what i don't blame her they are absolutely beautiful and because there is so many to choose from you've got at least like i think there's 12 so that's like you're going to have a different one every time that's 12 appointments that you've got sorted just from having these dusts so you don't even have to think about what you want because these are just beautiful so yeah um i think i'm probably going to do the next bit like sped up a little bit because i've still got lots to put in here and i'm going to be sat talking to about god knows what in that meantime so i'm going to pop you on a little probably a little time lapse until nearer the end and then i'll join you when i'm just finishing up i think
Okay, so that's this drawer all done. I love the way it looks. I much prefer it like this with the wall, um, like with all the powders on and stuff up there. I think it looks much better. Um, I've got room to grow in here as well, which is perfect. And yeah, so I'm really excited actually because Amanda showed us a little sneak peek of a new glitter that's coming along with a lot of others um, very, very soon, I assume. So I'm very, very excited for those to come. So there'll be a, there'll be a little... Uh, like new releases Tia's Beauty haul soon as soon as she releases them I will get my hands on them to show you all what there is but yeah so we've got down here we've got some glitters and then we've got all the chromes the Aurora chromes and flakes then we've got mylar we've got coloured flakes then we've got holographic dusts and then all of these along all from here uh to there they're all shards and then we've got leaf pigments that spare powder and then we've got shapes up here so we've got circles and then we've got all of the stars collection as well so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video um thank you so much for watching i know that i am a bit of a nightmare with organization and there's no one on this planet that has as many organization videos as me because no normal person purposely organizes this many times i also have some stuff here that i need to sort out um i'm just waiting for a delivery of my pots from amazon because i've run out so here's all the ones that i showed you in the sparkle supplies video and then obviously all of those need to be potted up and stuff so i need to sort that drawer out eventually this one is still going strong i haven't messed with it since the last time that you did it with me and then obviously this one is still the same it's still just my random stuff drawer so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always and i'll be back soon bye